Good morning everybody, my name is Angela Schroeder and today I'll be taking you through two different types of yoga practices, one seated and one standing. And the seated one will be seated on a chair. You can find all of this information in the Limpower handout online on the website. So I'd like to invite you all now to go through a very short warm up and to find a comfortable seated position. Sitting on a cushion, keeping the legs crossed, taking the hands to the knees. We're going to close the eyes and start to inhale for a count of four and exhale for a count of eight. As we inhale, we're focusing the breath coming up from the sit bones, up the front of the body to the top of the head. Exhaling for eight, visualizing the breath going down the back down into the sit bones, grounding down into the floor. So as we sit, we can feel the connection of the sit bones. We're drawing the body up to the top of the head as though we were sitting on a cone and the top of the head was the top of the cone, like a pyramid. So sitting tall and straight, we'll begin the count, inhaling for one, two, three, four, focus on the top of the head, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhaling, one, two, three, four, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhaling, one, two, three, four, focus on the top of the head, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, lifting the pelvic floor muscles, lifting the sides of the body, one, two, three, four, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relaxing down, feeling the weight of the body. Breathing into the body, in through the nose, exhaling out through the nose. Feeling grounded and centered and whole. We're going to bring the hands into prayer at the heart center. We're going to begin this morning's practice with chanting OM three times. Please join in or enjoy the vibration. Inhaling. Namaste. Welcome to practice this morning. So we're going to push the hands out, interlacing the fingers if we can, inhaling the arms up, pushing the arms up above the head here or here, exhaling over to your left, looking into the right armpit. Inhaling back to centre, exhaling to your right, looking to the left armpit. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling back to centre and releasing the hands down. From here, we'll take the right hand and arm behind, 
lifting up the opposite arm, taking the back of the hand over the knee, inhaling, lifting the chest, and then twisting the body to look over the right shoulder. Again, inhaling and exhaling. And if you can use your ujjayi breath, which is where we make the sound of the C, you take the tongue to the roof of the mouth or the tongue to the bottom of the teeth and close the back of the throat to make the sound of the C. Ujjayi breath. Floating the arm up and over. Inhaling, coming back up and then switching sides, taking the left hand behind the back, right arm up, exhaling, taking the back of the hand over the left side of the body and twisting over the left shoulder, keeping the body lifted tall, turning the body to the left, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling, floating the arm up, pushing the ceiling away or bringing it over into a lateral stretch. Look towards the ceiling, keeping the body grounded to the floor, keeping both sit bones firmly planted down. Inhaling, coming back up. We're going to now reach forward, so bring the body over the feet, the legs, head down towards the floor, staying up on the fingertips as though they were tripods. Keep breathing, inhaling, exhaling, walking the body over to the right hand side taking the chest up and down over the leg, reaching forwards, taking the chin or the forehead towards the knee. Staying here for a couple of breaths. Start to gently walk the fingers back the other direction through the center Taking the body over the left leg, chin or forehead over the knee. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, walking the fingers back to centre and then walking the body up. From here, we'll interlace the fingers behind the back. And we'll push the thumbs into the floor, looking up to the ceiling, opening up the chest, or just sitting tall if that's more comfortable, and looking straight ahead. But all of the time lifting the chest and aiming to look up, opening all of this area of the body. And release. So now we start with the sun salutation with standing. So we'll come to the front of our mat. And now this is following the handout. So you can do this on your own or you can follow the video. So taking the hands into prayer at the heart center. Standing in Tadasana, bringing the weight down through either side of the body, left to right and front to back. Inhaling arms up, squeezing the bottom, exhaling, folding forwards. Bring the hands to wherever they may come to, doesn't matter where that is. If you have some blocks, you can put your hands on the blocks. If your hands reach the floor with your knees bent, then that's good too. So wherever you are, come into your forward fold, inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, gently looking up, exhaling down. Inhaling, 
exhaling down. Start to peel the right foot off of the floor and step back into a long lunge. From here we're going to keep that back leg strong, so we're going to engage the quad here and push the heel away. Staying up on the fingertips, keeping a 90 degree angle of the knee to the ankle. So we're looking up, keeping the chest lifted, glute is engaged. We inhale and exhale. And then start to bend that back knee towards the floor or not on the floor, or you might be more comfortable with the knee on the floor and that's okay too. So wherever you are, breathing into the stretch, you'll feel that into the groin. And then take the left foot back to meet the right foot into plank. So engaging the glutes, engaging the abdominal muscles, keeping the elbows loose, don't locking out, not locking out the elbows, keeping the hands nice and wide, fingers spread really wide. From here, you might need to take your knees down, you might want to take your knees down. And then releasing and coming back into Cobra. So we're going to bend the elbows, bring the body all the way down to the floor. And inhale, lifting the chest, keeping the elbows into the rib cage, looking ahead, keeping the pubic bone on the floor. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Exhale the body down. Taking the forehead to the floor, untucking the toes, if they were tucked in already, or however your legs feel comfortable. Pushing into the hands, inhaling up, elbows to rib cage, looking into the eyebrows, squeezing the glutes, and exhale down. From here, we're going to push up onto all fours. Although they're not on the handout, we're going to do two extra moves, which are nice to release the back. So we're going to push into the hands, start to arch the back, tuck the chin in, into cow position and inhaling lifting the chin coming into up cat so coming back into cow exhaling arching the back bringing the chin to the chest inhaling reversing bringing the chin up looking up in between the eyebrows arching the back Tucking the toes under, we'll start to straighten the legs, nice and slow, as slowly as you need to go. So keeping the fingers really wide, we're coming into our down dog position. So I'll move forward so that you can see. So fingers spread really wide, feet to hip width apart, turning the heels out, pushing into the hands, looking between the hands, Inhaling, energy is coming up the front of the body, up the arms, all the way up to the hips. Exhaling, pushing down the back of the legs, through and into the heels. Working the heels down into the floor, you might like even to pedal those feet out. And then from here, bending the knees, and then gently walking or jumping the feet back between the hands. We'll bend the knees and slowly come up, keeping the knees bent the whole time. Bring the arms above the head, palms touching or palms here. And then hands back into the heart center. Taking the hands down into mountain pose, so Tadasana. So here, either feet apart for balance, or big toes touching, heels apart. Find the comfortable position for you. We'll close the eyes. We're gonna breathe into 
the body. Shifting the weight forwards and backwards, side to side. Finding that center point. I'm going to come to the other end of the mat so that you can see me. So we're going to inhale, the arms up, palms touching above the head. Exhaling, forward fold, arms out to the sides, fingertips down towards the toes or on the shins. Or if the feet are apart here, that's, that's good too. So coming to work to your measure, your knees might be bent, your toes might be together, your feet might be apart. So wherever you are, stay in your forward fold. We're going to look up and inhale, dry breath in, dry breath out, exhaling, bringing the head down. Inhaling, looking up, exhaling, back down into forward fold. Last one, inhaling up, exhaling, bringing the left foot back this time into a long lunge. You might need to pick up your foot and place it back down. Wherever you are, if your knee is here, then that's good. If you can straighten your leg, keeping this thigh nice and strong, pushing the heel away. And there's a 90 degree angle here again between the ankle here and the knee here. So we're going to keep this leg engaged, keeping the quad engaged, looking forwards, keeping the chest lifted. Start to bend the knee towards the floor but not on the floor. All the time keeping engagement. Inhaling, exhaling. And then bringing that knee to the floor. And then bringing the other leg to join. Coming into plank, or if it's more comfortable, come on to all fours. If we're into plank, we're just going to stay here for a couple of breaths, pushing into the heels of the hands, squeezing the glutes, closing the eyes, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, taking the knees to the floor. And from here down into Cobra, so keeping the elbows into rib cage, lowering the body down towards the floor, keeping the toes tucked under if you can, if that's comfortable, pushing into the hands, coming up into low Cobra. Exhaling down. Inhaling. Cobra, looking up, keeping the glutes squeezed, pubic bone is down, elbows are into rib cage. Exhaling down. Untucking the toes, one more. Pushing into the hands, inhaling, coming up, looking between the eyebrows, exhaling down. And from here, pushing the body back onto all fours. And we'll do the cat cow move again on this side. So we're going to tuck the chin under, arch the back towards the ceiling to cow. Exhale. Inhaling, reversing, lifting the chin, looking up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Arching the back. To up cat, exhale into cow, tucking in the chin, one more, inhaling, reversing the twist, arching the back, and bringing the spine back into neutral, we're going to tuck the toes under, bring the bottom back over the heels, 
Start to slowly straighten these legs into dog, pedaling out the feet. Pushing into the hands, fingers are spread really wide, pushing into the heels of the hands, straightening the arms, feeling the stretch coming up the fronts of the body, up to the hips, pushing the heels down towards the floor, the movement is down and the heels are slightly turned out. Looking between the hands, bending the knees, start to slowly walk towards the hands, Keeping the knees bent, feet wide or toes touching, so it's comfortable. Inhaling, keeping the knees bent, bringing the arms up, palms above the head. Exhaling, hands to the heart. So that's our sun salutation, our standing sun salutation. So now we'll demonstrate the seated version. So we're going to use a stool, but you might like to use a chair. So, we take the feet firmly planted on the floor. Breathing into the feet. Exhaling. Visualising the breath going down through the feet, down into the earth. Inhale. And exhale. Inhaling, arms up. Palms touching. Exhale, forward fold. Fingers on top of the feet or on the floor. Bring the head to hang and relax down. Relax the back of the neck. Inhaling, looking up. Exhaling, looking down. Inhaling, looking up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. And exhale, down. Engaging the abdominal muscles, bring the arms up above the head and back to the heart centre. Start to peel the right knee up towards the chest and just hold around the knee, keeping the foot relaxed, sitting tall. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And then begin to let go of the leg. Bring the arms out to the sides. And if you can, maybe straighten out that leg. And flex the foot. Engaging the quad. Engaging the thigh. And then bending the knee. Giving that knee a hug and then placing the foot back down on the floor. Inhaling, arms up. Looking up at the hands, feeling the stretch in the lateral side of the body, either side of the body. Exhale, forward fold. Hands on the feet. Inhale, look up. Exhale, down. Inhale up, exhale down. Last one, inhale up. This time bringing the body up again, arms up above the head, palms touching. Exhale, bring the hands back down to the heart. Start to peel the left knee up towards the chest. Taking hold of the knee, back is strong and straight, spine is long and tall, chin is tucked, crown of the head is towards the sky. Pointing the towel, flexing the toe, 
seeing what happens to the rest of the leg when you engage. And if that's not possible on this side, just hold, just hold this position wherever you are. And then begin to release the hold, taking the arms out to the sides, palms facing the ceiling. Gently start to straighten the leg. Flexing or pointing if that's possible for you. Engaging the thigh, the quad. Bending the knee. Holding. Exhaling. Placing the foot back down towards the floor. Inhaling, arms up. Arms touching. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhaling, bring the arms out to the side, pushing into the feet, engaging the core muscles, touching the sky, exhaling, hands down, into the heart. And then bringing the hands back down to the legs. And then we'll finish off the practice, whether you're on your chair or you're on the floor. By just breathing into the body and observing how we feel. So closing the eyes. Inhale. And exhale. Breathing into the body. Exhaling out of the body. Start to rub the hands together. Generating some heat. Or you might want to rub a hand against the leg in this way, whichever is possible for you. Bring that connection over the face, interlacing the fingers, pushing the palms away, or stretching the arms forwards. We're going to stroke down one arm and the other arm. We'll generate some heat again. Hands to face. And over the head, if that's comfortable for you to do. Pulling on the earlobes, squeezing into the shoulders, the arms, the elbows, the wrists. Squeezing into the lower back, the hips, down the body. Bringing the hands flat against the chest. Or into a comfortable position. Observing how you feel. Inhaling. Chanting Om. to those that you have met, that you are with, and that you may meet. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. And please find the details on any questions that you might have on the website, reach out on the Facebook closed group, and next time we'll have the tech sorted out so that we can do this live. Thank you very much. Namaste.